Hello, friends. Welcome to the Career Guru Podcast. I am your host, Steve Yanofsky. What a glorious day it is to start your path in a new career. Doors are opening here at the Boston Career Institute even as we speak. And I'm here holding the key for you. So tune in, stay sharp, and enjoy yourself. This is going to be great. Hashtag Let's Career Up. Good day to you, friends, aspiring career gurus, conversationalists, career seekers all across the fruited plain. By that, I mean the United States. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. You know that song, you know, the fruited plain. Here we are at the end of 2023. It's time to draw some conclusions to the year that's almost gone. Say goodbye to 2023 and greet 2024 with excitement and motivation, new careers, new frontiers being explored, money to be made, all sorts of great things. Let's look back in 2023 and look at the few things that we did right. Well, 2023 has been a good year for all of us out there as far as getting new jobs and starting launching in a new career. On my end, many Hundreds of my students have found new employment in the healthcare sector in Massachusetts, for which I am tremendously happy. Uh, I feel absolutely blessed that all these people were able to heed to my advice, my teaching, and the teaching of my staff members who work with me here at the Boston Career Institute, uh, educators, career specialists, and everyone else in, in the mix, people who participate in internships people at the clinical sites who have been able to inspire and impart their knowledge, wisdom, and skills upon the next generation of healthcare professionals. The year was filled with a lot of hard work to get Boston Career Institute into the phase of becoming an accredited institution, a nationally accredited institution, which gives us an opportunity to become a college here in Massachusetts. What does that mean? That means that we'll be able to offer exceptional programming for people seeking high paying positions in dentistry, such as dental hygienists and in healthcare, such as nursing or medical imaging, or even exploring in more detail, hospital central service as a, as a possible career. So all of that is coming, my friends. And in the beginning of 2024, as we begin to enter into new phase of programming of career guru podcasts where we're going to hopefully focus on things like economics and personal finance management. And as promised in the previous podcast, we'll talk about dealing with Corey uh, and so on and so forth. All very important topics that we hope to tackle in the new year. Your feedback will be most essential for me in particular to develop these topics and explore possibilities and bring in guests who are experts in this field. Looking back on 2023, with gratitude, with excitement that we were able to accomplish all of these things together, that you found the time uh, to listen to this podcast and make positive, substantive changes in your lives as you have indicated in your texts and emails. Uh, And like I said, I'm, I'm forever grateful for all your feedback. It makes me a better person. It makes me a better guru. A guru never stops to seek improvement in everything that we do as it applies to everyone else. No matter how good you are at something, there's always room for improvement. And of course, teaching others that which you are good at. Just remember that imparting your wisdom to other people actually makes you a better professional. I want to take this time to make a few wishes for you for the upcoming new year. I would like to wish you health, wealth, And of course, time to enjoy it with the people that you love, the people that you enjoy, people who inspire you, people who wish the best for you, people who want you to succeed and people who want you to move ahead in your career and in your personal life. So you should be blessed with uh, abundant, reveal kindness granted to you by our creator, whose kindness is boundless and opportunity for you to benefit from his kindness is Uh, right there for you to grab it. Some people busy themselves this time of year to come up with all sorts of interesting new year resolutions. It's a wonderful thing. 
But look back at 2023. You have made it here thus far. 2023 has been good to you, even if we had a few hiccups along the way. But you made it, which means you did a whole bunch of things right. Think about that for a minute before you embark on saying, well, I really should have done this better and that that's very good, but you must have done something that got, that you made it through 365 days, that one year that we, uh, revolved around the sun. Okay. It took us that much time to get around that big shiny star in the middle of our galaxy, but you made it, you did something right. You were able to put food on your table. You were able to pay for the shelter. Uh, where you live, you were able to sustain your families and yourselves, and you found the time to better yourself economically, educationally, and otherwise. So don't be down on 2023. Don't be down on yourself. Be good to yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back if it's possible. Say good things about yourself. Before you say, I really should have joined the gym, you should, maybe you shouldn't have, but whatever the case may be, you made it through 2023, and with God's graces and your hard work, you're going to make it through 2024, and it will be better. It'll be better. You have to be convinced. Think good, and it will be good. Visualize success and work towards your success. And as I've mentioned on more than one occasion during our previous conversations, it's not all bad. There's always a glimpse of good in everything that you do. Okay, project that forward, make it work, surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with people who have succeeded. And by success, I mean people who didn't give up on their dream, not those foolish childhood dreams. You know, some people say, you know, live up to your childhood dreams. You know why? I, I, when I think back of what I was like as a child, some of my dreams were downright goofy. No, find good new ones. It's okay. Yeah, it's too late to become an astronaut. It's too late to become a ballerina. Not everybody wants to do that. Okay. You may want to do something fun and exciting. That's fine. But focus on good dreams, focus on productive ones and stay true to yourself with the advice and the help of others. And with that, I want to wish you a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. As I said earlier, health, wealth, and time to enjoy it with your loved ones. God bless you all. I'm here for you. Please reach out. Please write in. And we'll stay together through 2024. I'm really looking forward to seeing you here and hearing from you. All the best to you. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Anything and everything that you celebrate. Enjoy it with your family, with your loved ones. See you soon in 2024. Well, friends and aspiring career gurus, this was fun. Thank you for tuning in. I feel enlightened. I feel empowered. And I'm feeling grateful that we spend time with you. For more information about Boston Career Institute, please visit our website, bostoncareer.org. Boston Career Institute has three campuses located in Brookline, Massachusetts, Malden, Massachusetts, and Lowell, Massachusetts. Call our toll-free number, 888-383-6058. For questions, comments, and or information about our podcast, email me at thecareerguru at bostoncareer.org. The Career Guru Podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, our website, bostoncareer.org, or wherever you stream your podcast. Subscribe, stream, rate, and review our shows. Your rating and reviews help our show reach new audiences. Produced by PodPro Entertainment, the career guru lives within a network of podcasts located at podproentertainment.com. Hashtag the new radio. Looking forward to seeing you soon. All the best to you. My name is Steve Yanofsky. I am the career guru. May God bless you. Hashtag let's career up. <laughs>